on to do this transformation. Here we have a one carbon chain and uh, now we have uh, my carbonyl is now an OH and we have a new carbon here. So let's draw this in as a methyl group as a CH3 expand our line drawing. It looks like this is a new uh, group that's here that's been added. If we wanted to react with this carbonyl carbon we know that this is electrophilic. This is partially positive, so it's electrophilic. So what we need to react with that carbon is we need a, a methyl that is a nucleophile. How can we make a, um, a methyl be nucleophilic? Well, I think uh, all we need to do, if we had a lone pair and a negative charge, that would make it nucleophilic. How, how do we get to that? reactivity in that species, well that's exactly what a Grignard reagent does. If we have CH3MGBR, that is nucleophilic, and uh, that would react with the carbonyl. We would do that as step one, and as step two, after doing the Grignard, we would need some kind of aqueous workup, H3O plus for example, and that would um, protonate the O minus to give an alcohol product. So um, more than doing just a simple reduction of the carbonyl, we also added in a new carbon group. So this is how we could use our, our Grignard reagent. Okay, here's another example um, with, a, with an organometallic. Where does this uh, alkalithium come from? Uh, how do we make an organometallic? Well, when we make this, right, if we ask what starting materials do we need, Right, we're, we're seeing the reaction conditions here. We've added in lithium metal. What did that lithium metal react with? Well, what did we need in that position? We needed a halogen of some kind. So we need an Rx to go, from, to, to, uh, go to an alkyl lithium or, or, or a Grignard reagent too. Um, so you, you can pick any halide you want, bromide, chloride, iodide. They would all do uh, a good example. Okay, so the, the Grignard and the uh, hydride reagents are new uh, reactions, reacting with the carbonyl. Those are new reagents that are very useful in forming the alcohol uh, functional group. And so that's useful. Uh, it's a, that's a new strategy for forming, uh, synthesizing alcohols. And we can add that to our list of other reagents where we're doing more of a functional group interconversion uh, on going maybe from, a, from an alcohol halide to an alcohol or from a, an alkene to an alcohol by doing those sorts of transformations as well. The next part of the alcohol unit is going to, going to look at reactions of alcohols. Once we have an OH on a, on a structure, what um, manipulations can we do to it? What transformations can it undergo? Thanks for coming to educator.com, and I'll see you again soon.